reprinted in New York. In a hotel room in New York, we met old love you. In a hotel room in New York, where the drapes are the colour of wet pavement and the sheet the colour of baked mud. And the writing desk has a note saying it is made from the reclaimed timber of ships. We bruise each other's bodies with kisses. I give you a love so big it breaks you into pools like mercury molecules that I slide back together to make one skin. In a hotel room in New York, we make a love that hurts us both. In a hotel room in New York, I order us eggs or raisin, coffee, orange juice, bagels with three different types of jam. I lay next to you on my side, juggle egg on my chin. In a hotel room in New York, I stand naked in front of a full-length window and press my hot breasts to the cold glass and spread my arms and press my hot palms to the cold glass and face on the glass and breath on the glass and feel full. Great expectation. What a beautiful, bright autumn day it is. The people are buying newspapers and catching the subway to work and checking their cell phones to see what time their business meeting is. Where in the park, across the street, a boy is rollerblading and a woman is feeding pigeons with her twin daughters and all three are wearing the same red hats. I can hear only the faint sound of their cars and their homes and their stop-start noises. Only imagine the smell of exhaust. What a beautiful, bright, autumn day it is. In a hotel room in New York, I turn to face you, who is still in bed after sex naked and who has been watching me. Still in bed after sex naked is different from any other kind of naked. Still in bed after sex naked is never fully naked, because there will always be a sheet covering some part of your lover's body, even if it is just their ankle. Your head resting on your hand, you smile at me, who is fully naked, pressing my hot buttocks against the cold glass, feeling the egg in my belly. I smile and scan the room to see how a room looks after two people have spent their second night in New York and for the first time have made old love you. I see the scattered books on the writing desk that I bought yesterday afternoon from a second hand store. Books that you think you should buy when you leave New York by poets whose name is a synonym. I will not list here because if you know the poets who are synonymous with New York, you can hear them already. And it means you've not yet known them. And it would just be a list of names like a roll call of what could be men at bus stops waiting for a bus that will take them to a dirty work where they will sweat and wipe their foreheads with cloth caps that have the names of baseball teams and have rough hands and little corners of their nails will be broken off and their wives will move tobacco through their mouths and their paychecks will always be accounted for. There will be no romance of uneducated men who know the names of plants and the smell of seasons because these men will be hard and only hard. These men will be tough and only tough. When they hit nails with mallet hammers, they will look up and think one day, this will be a hotel. Where people will wake up to New York and feel they are somehow connected to artists, writers, poets, musicians. Just because they walk under the same piece of sky. They will not think they are connected in any way to the man who blackened his thumbnail with a mallet hammer whilst laying foundations of stone. His name is not synonymous with New York. So his name will not appear in print on a writing desk in New York. And the books by the poets I see on the writing desk, the print we bought yesterday in an art shop that smelt of acrylic. They reminded us both of Jackson Pollock. It is by somebody who is young and has no name. It's not Jackson Pollock, but it is like Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock, it's like Jackson Pollock, Jackson Pollock, Jackson Pollock, Jackson Pollock, Jackson Pollock. The artist is young and unknown. You're not called Jackson Pollock. In a hotel room in New York, I walk from the window to the bed where you have covered yourself further because we have passed the time of still in bed after sex naked. 
Now you're just in bed. And I climb back in with you, and the sheet smells of wine, and there are beds on front. And your body is warm and mine grown cooler. And the three different types of jam and the knife have become a four. We find where our curves converse. Lay back down and stare toward the window, towards that beautiful and bright autumn sky. It's full of great expectation. You see that my imprint on the glass is of two inward facing palms, two inward facing breasts, and two outward facing buttocks. There's a woman facing in and a woman facing out. In a hotel room in New York, there's a woman facing in and a woman facing out. And together, we make all love new.